Hello again YouTube. So this video will be a uh, it's a, a bomber from Poland uh, used during the Spanish Civil War and in, into World War II. It's called the PZL 23B uh, Semolot Bombavi. <laughs> I can't really I'm not really sure how that's pronounced but uh, it's a 148 scale and it's from Mirage another kit from Mirage and I'm hoping it looks just as good as the last one I reviewed. Uh, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe and ring that bell when you want to see more when I upload new videos. And here's the box art. It's a big box from Mirage. Take a look at the instructions a little bit. Here you can see it has some information over it, the bomber, and technical details. A detailed, uh, detailed uh, painting of the engine, which I find really cool. A lot of times you have to do extra research to see what the engine's supposed to, how it's supposed to be painted. Here we start with the engine. Engine and the interior. Machine gun. You can see it has a lot of interior detail. Resin and photo etch parts. You can see here, resin. Resin, photo etch. The interior alone has has four instruction sheets. Then we go to the uh, landing gear. Put in the cockpit put into the fuselage. The vertical stabilizer. And here they're already putting the canopy on, which I always do that last because I, I usually put a, a clear coat over it. More photo etch. Detail. Horizontal stabilizers. Here's the wings. Going to the wings already. The wing roots here. These can sometimes be a problem when they're separated like this. You have to be really careful putting stuff together to get it aligned right. Here's the, uh, the bay for the machine gun in the back. Look like exhaust is glob, I think. Putting the wings on, putting the... Putting the uh, landing gear on. Okay, this is a machine gun underneath. So there's one on top and one underneath. And details, details. Painting the bombs. The paint chart. The paint chart is in Vallejo. It also has, it also has F FS numbers for the Vallejo paint. Uh, here's markings, painting and marking instructions. The color. There's four different versions you can make. Here are the decals. They look pretty good. Here are the resin parts. Eight and all. Look like they could be a little 
some of them could be a little tough to get off these, these thick. It's not so thick actually. Okay, yeah. The resin parts look pretty good. Photo etched. We have uh, sights, seat belts, the um, there's some 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 kind of support here. And more different kind of parts here. But there's quite a bit of photo edge. The uh, clear parts look really good. You can either have a closed canopy, it's full. Or you have parts to the canopy where you can make it open. And just, I like to have this option. And I like to make mine open when there's a lot of interior detail. So it can be seen better. You can see here. The, the interior detail looks pretty good. The one panel. Here's the other one. the fuselage. I'm not seeing any uh, some, any rivets. I don't know if it's supposed to have them or not. Is the under underside of the fuselage where the ring root wing roots are? And the over the, the the top side. Cowling. No, well, it's a cowling ring and here's the two halves of the cowling. Really don't see any flash. There's a little bit right there, I think, but it's not any big problem. Like here. Same on this side. That's not a big problem. In this tree, we have wings. Looks like it has raised panel lines though. pretty good actually. Vertical stabilizer. Flaps. See there's a part missing but it's here in the bag. The last tree is all the detail parts, engine, I like this, these parts, these, uh, the ring and stuff, I like them better when they're photo etched, but this one looks pretty good. Anyways, the, the photo etched ones are, be are best when it's a, 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 a an engine with two, one of these stacked engines. It has the pistons on the front and the back, because then you can bend the, uh, you can bend them, you can bend the uh, the pieces here back to meet the, the pistons. Here is the instrument panel. Looks pretty good. You can't see dials. 
You can't see dials in there, but let's see on the instructions. But the dials are here. Separate pieces. As decals. Not really a lot of flash to speak of, even in here, in these holes. No flash. Machine gun. Looks pretty good. There's exhaust, there's some flash on the exhaust. The wheels aren't weighted. A lot of interior parts here. These handles. All in all, it looks like a pretty good kit. See, Mirage, Mirage has surprised me with their kits. They're really not very expensive, but they are, are pretty good. There, uh, there, are, there is a bit of a bit of flash, but not, it's not bad at all. I hate trying to get these parts out though sometimes. I find using a pair of fingernail clippers works a lot better than using the side cutters for models. Especially on these rounded parts. You can get in there better. But sometimes, you, but, but since the fingernail clippers are curved, you do have to be careful. So you don't get it in the wrong part and cut part of the part off. I'm really liking what Mirage does, and I would say this is a good kit if you're interested in old, uh, older aircraft from before World War II. This is a uh, this is from 1939, so it's ac actually at the beginning of the war. But uh, this is one of two aircraft I've seen from Mirage from this time period. They actually, I think, they do have an uh, earlier version as well. It, uh, PZL 23A. Um, I do like Mirage. Mirage, I would, uh, I would recommend. They they have some good kits, especially the newer ones. And uh, that's all I have for this video. And until next time, bye.